Hello everyone, you're welcome back to Miss Felicia. For the new subscriber, thank you, you're welcome. For the whole subscriber, thank you for staying tuned always. So today I'll be making chicken and chicken pie and meat pie. So I mixed everything together, combined together. See how nice it is. So in your pan, you will need oil, any type of oil you can put in your pan. Then you pour in your meat, mice, and chicken mice together. Then stay fry for some time. So after you have to stay fry, you put in your spices. I have um, oh, that's red pepper, and I have curry there. And I put a little bit of salt. You can put any seasoning cube of your choice for this recipe i don't i don't uh, want to use seasoning cube so you stir together put in your chopped onion depending on how you want it to be you can use two but i use just one my chopped onion then i mix together then i put in my chopped uh, potato irish potato i put it together then I fry together, stay fry together for some time, then mix together. Then I have my veggies, of course. I use veggies for this particular recipe. I use carrots and green peas. So I stir and put together. Why am I holding two spoons here? I don't know. Just focus on the food I'm cooking. Never mind. So I put in, then I mix together. So you have to mix together. You have to make sure that you are mixing together so it won't get burnt so see me mixing together then after mixing together you have to put in a little bit of water like water so that it can cook like the veggies and of course the potatoes can cook can be a little bit tender for sometimes then I covered then this part I put um, just for the uh, for the sauce to be um to be to come to be to combine together i put flour and a little bit of salt add flour and and water then i mix together so i put in inside the uh, the sauce i put in in the sauce here yeah. can you see i'm mixing this together so it will not be uh it will not be it should be combined together yeah so i put it in together then i cover so that it will be well cooked at least for some time so put in a little bit of water so that it will be well cooked yeah of course like i've said before then i mix together then after mixing together you can just check whether the toast uh, the salt there is okay or the any seasoning cube you're using is okay for for the taste uh to taste then i mix together and then i cover it up for some time to be cooked you don't have to overcook because of course you are going to put in in your dough your meat by dough then it's done then i have to spread it in my plate so that it will be cold then i put it in the plate then so that it will get cold then I spread it out then I set that aside for this I'm using my cup never mind <laughs> I'm using my cup to do the measurements so here I have to for this recipe I used two cups I have to, uh, no four cups of flour any flour of your choice you can use any flour so I use flour four cups yeah I use four cups the glass cup I use for my measurements so I use four four cups then I add in my baking powder then my salt sometimes people do use egg of course sometimes people use cold milk like to mix together maybe liquid milk to mix together but this particular recipe I only use uh, water to mix together then I put in my butter like my butter for the measurements uh yeah I, I think I, I i use about like 100 grams for this four cups so i mix in together then after mixing the flour uh together with the butter the margarine or anything or any thing you're using is either butter or margarine then you squish it together like this then it should come out very good then i poured in my water cold water 
yeah yeah so i put in my cold water then i need like i mix it together you don't have to over stress yourself and you don't have to over need you just have to combine the uh the butter together so that they will be they will be the, form, the dough will be formed well yeah so i just need for just little time sometimes uh, people do put their butter like their dough inside the refrigerator for it to uh, to be uh to be cold but for this recipe i just decided to to just like roll it out then <laughs> because i can just wait for the for the meat pie to be done so i cut into different sizes because so i'm rolling it out now rolling this particular one out now so i'm rolling it out then you have your if you have your cutter meat pie cutter you can use but for me i use the cover of one of my pots that's and i like it like that because i want it to be a little bit big here yeah, to be bigger like can you see the shape it comes out round like a circle then i'll be putting in my sauce inside the uh the dough the meat pie dough so i put in you can it depends on how you want to make it so for the for the for the dough uh, for the piece uh for the meat pie to be for it to be to close very well you can put a, a flour a little bit of flour and water they mix together so you can close it together see the shape i'm making i just put in my hand then i use it to close it together so for this one i use fact to uh to push it inside so that it will close very well so that it will not be open when the uh the pie is uh of course baking so don't forget to subscribe to miss felicia you can follow me on facebook also miss felicia follow me on facebook and don't forget to subscribe like share and of course comment so uh, for the uh, for the pie to come out very good brownish kind of color on top i wix a egg then i uh i put it to brush it and again me putting uh this fork in the middle is for the uh for the meat pie to be well cooked so that the sauce and everything will come out very good and nice then you can put it in your hovu and then bake for like 30 minutes see it comes out so nice pretty good and yummy 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 uh yummy don't forget to subscribe guys like i've said before see how nice and yummy it looks it looks so yummy and nice thank you so much for staying to see you in my next video bye don't forget to love yourself and your family bye